These are the five facts you need to know about oscillating tools, brought to you by EasyVid Wiki. Fact number one. Oscillating tools are some of the most versatile power tools one can add to their toolbox. In fact, they are more commonly referred to as multi-tools because of their ability to handle such a wide range of jobs. They can remove grout, sand, cut, grind, flush cut, plunge cut, polish and more. As an added benefit, they can do all of these things in extremely tight spaces because of their compact body and minimal range of motion. Fact number 2. The first iteration of these devices was patented in 1967. Its main use was in orthopedics for cutting through plaster casts. It was found that the oscillating rotation was less damaging to a patient's skin. Wiki.easyvid.com is the world's video wiki. Go there to see the most recently updated list of the best oscillating tools, or click the link beneath this video. Fact number 3. These tools work via thousands of minute side-to-side -side movements in fast repetition, somewhere in the range of 20,000 strokes per minute. These side-to-side -side movements are only about 3 degrees, which makes them very easy to control. In the hand it feels as if it has a vibrating motion and has almost no potential for kickback. Fact number 4. Any number of attachments can be affixed to a unit. This includes saw blades, sanding pads, and grinding discs. Unfortunately there is no standard interface for attachments. This means you can rarely use the sanding pad of one manufacturer with the tool of another. Most attachments are secured by loosening or tightening a bolt with an Allen wrench. Fact number 5. An oscillating tool should only be used for plunge cuts in soft materials, like plasterboard and wood. When trying to make a plunge cut in harder materials, one should use a drill to bore the initial hole, and then make the cut with a jigsaw. Additionally, before you use this tool to cut through any material, it should be inspected for nails, screws, or any other foreign object. Visit the wiki. Get the most recent list of the best oscillating tools you can get. Go to wiki.easyvid.com or click beneath this video to see it.